participate. So within the world of manga, we've got this rule and it's called the rule of three. Now this rule can apply to anything really. It doesn't only apply to manga, but when it does come to manga, the rule of three is basically this. When you're buying a new series, you limit yourself to three volumes. What these three volumes do is A, they give you enough of the story so that you know if you'll be into it or not. It's not too little and it's not too much. Of course, this can differ depending on what series it is. But also, if you end up not liking the series and are planning on dropping it, you've only bought three volumes. So it's not that big of a deal. It's not like you've already spent hundreds of dollars and now you have a whole freaking series to complete. So why am I bringing up the rule of three? Well, you see, last month I picked up Gigant of Volume 3. And Gigant is a series by Hiroya Oku, who also wrote Gantz, which is a very popular series. I did a review on Gigant. It was one of my very first reviews. Might have been my second one. If you have seen that video, you'll know Gigant is a weird series. And actually, I forgot everything that I had said in that review before I read this third volume. But as soon as I picked up this volume and I started reading, I remembered everything I said. So if you haven't seen that video or you don't know what Gigant is about, Gigant is about this girl whose name is Chiho. And she gets this watch put on her. I'm not going to go into how, but she gets this watch that it lets her grow in size. And the main character is this guy named Rie or something. I don't know. See, okay, here's the thing. One of the main problems I had with the story was that none of the characters are likable. The main character, Rie, just whines and cries about everything. He's annoying. Chio is kind of a pushover. She doesn't really stand up for herself. And everybody else is just downright not a good person. <laughs> characters are really what drive a story. And I figured that by the freaking third volume, we'd have some redeeming qualities in some characters. But no. <laughs> and that's why I don't like Gigant. I don't think it's a good manga at all, which really sucks because there are cool things in it. For example, this is spoilers for the freaking third volume, I guess. The premise is really cool. There's a site called, oh, what is it called? It's like ETE or something. It's a website that exists in this world of Gigant. And basically what happens is people can suggest things to happen. And then if it gets enough votes, it becomes real. And these suggestions can be just anything that's crazy. I don't remember some of the things that happened in the first volumes. How this volume starts off, it starts off during one of those things that is happening. Somebody on the site suggested that a giant monster appears over Tokyo and kills a million people. And for some reason, the people of this world voted for that. So yeah, this guy just spawns out of nowhere and Chiho, having the ability to grow big, decides to fight this monster thing. And she takes down this monster in a really, really awesome, cool way. She's fighting the monster and then shrinks. Monster has no idea where she goes. She goes up high on like a building or like a walkway or something onto the monster, goes inside of the monster and then grows big from the inside, tearing the guy apart. That was freaking sick. What's not sick is literally just the rest of the volume. <laughs> I wouldn't say Gigant is boring because that's not really the problem here. It's wacky. It's kind of hard to explain. The series is very unnecessarily 18 plus explicit. And I don't really see the need for that. And it makes it also kind of weird because the main character, Rie or whatever his name is, is underage. Hey, okay, this is Ryan from the future. First thing I want to say is that the main character's name is Ray, not Rie. I think I said Rie like a bunch of times in this video, so just ignore that. The other thing is, after I recorded this video, I did some more thinking about the manga and I tried to figure out why exactly it was that I wasn't completely into it. And one thing I noticed is that the characters don't really have like a main goal or there's not like something they're working towards. So I think of the two main characters, I think of Rei and I think of Chiho. If I were to say what Rei's main goal is, I'd say it's probably just to have a relationship with his adult star girlfriend, except he accomplishes that like almost immediately. And how does he do that? He does that by whining and crying. I talked about that in the last video. And then I think of Chiho, the other main character, and what are her goals and wants? I really couldn't tell you what she wants. Even before I mentioned that she jumps into action and starts to fight this giant monster, but it's not even like she was fighting the monster because it's the right thing to do. I just went and took a look at volume two again just to make sure I was right. And to me, it didn't seem like she wanted to fight the monster because it was the right thing to do. She wanted to fight the monster because her underage boyfriend was in danger. Like it was very selfishly motivated. You know what I mean? So I still stand by what I said that I don't think any of the characters have any redeeming qualities and there's not any like clear goals or like even wants from the characters. And because of that, the characters feel really shallow. And I think that's not good for a manga, especially like in the third freaking volume. Anyways, that's it. I just did some more thinking about it and wanted to put it in this video. So there you go. Okay. Continue with the video. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It's a weird series and I'm not into it. That's why we have the rule of three. And that's why I brought it up in the beginning because this is the third volume. I feel like I know how this series is going to go for the rest of it. And so I've decided I'm, <laughs> I'm dropping Gigant. I'm done. I figured I would hang in there for at least the third volume. <laughs> I guess I'm just not into it. It's a bit weird for me, which usually I'm into weird wacky stuff. I I'd say the biggest reason is the characters. I'm just not into any of the characters. 
characters. They don't have any redeeming qualities. The art style is pretty good, and there are cool things that happen in the manga, but it's not enough to keep me interested in reading. I've heard mixed reviews about Gigant. Some people love it, some people hate it. After two volumes, I was pretty middle of the road. I wasn't really sure. I could kind of see both sides. But after volume three, yeah, I'm like, whatever, it's not for me. It's a shame too, because I was really hoping to like it. One thing is though, I'm not gonna let it turn me off from reading other stuff by Hiroya Oku. Gigant is a heckin' weird manga and I'm not into it. But maybe Gantz will be more something that I'm into. <laughs> who knows, I guess we'll find out. For those who have read Gigant, let me know what you think. I know people have read ahead in the digital versions. If you're one of those people who have read the digital versions and are caught up to the most current chapter or whatever, I've only read the physical releases. This is just volume three. So if you have read the digital version, let me know what you think. Does it get better? Because honestly, I think this is a train wreck. But yeah, I think that's it for me. That's all I have to say. Quick channel update, I guess. I've been away for a little bit. Um, Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I've got videos coming soon. I'm really happy with the way they're turning out. I'm gonna try to do the whole two videos a week, uploading on Monday and Friday thing again. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. I'm Ryan and bye.